Good Tuesday morning. I'm Father Steve from St. Bridget's, and this is Moments with the Master. Today is the 20th day of February 2024, and our readings today come from the book of Isaiah, chapter 55, verses 10 through 11, Psalms 34, verses 4 through 19, and also the Gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 6, verses 7 through 15. Folks, we've made it through the first week of Lent. I hope you have a blessed Lent so far. I hope that you've cracked open those Lent reflections. And if not, at least you're still continuing in your scripture reading, your prayer life. I hope that it's going to be a great Lent from you. I hope that, that you'll be blessed. I hope those around you will be blessed by you. And that's kind of where I'm going today. The last uh, couple of weeks, I've I've talked about stewardship, and I've, if you've been paying attention to anything I've said, it's stewardship isn't always about money. You know, each and every day we have opportunities to to act on on the behalf of others. You know, giving encouragement, giving of our time, our energy, our resources. You know, yeah, and occasionally our our, our money too. But we gotta understand, in, in the light of James one seventeen that every good and perfect gift comes from God. If we think about it that way, we become better stewards. Better stewards of not only our time, of, of nature, of our finances, but of each other. Because I think we're called to be stewards of everybody. Everybody we come in contact with. As uh, the great author Ralph Waldo Emerson, uh, let me quote him here, the purpose of life is not to be happy, it is to be useful, to be honorable, to be compassionate, to have, have it make some difference that you have lived and lived well. Lived well. That's just another way of saying being God's steward, being a, a blessing to others, for caring for other folks. You know, think of it this way. We ask a lot of the Lord we, in our prayers. We ask for things for ourselves. We ask for others. We ask for their, our nation. We ask for all kinds of stuff. We ask to be blessed. And the Lord will bless us. He's faithful. But we can't just take the blessings in and, and hold it. Those blessings have to flow through us, those blessings and those scriptures and, and precepts and principles and, and that, we, that we believe have to flow through us into action. Action is how we become a, a great steward of other people. How else is, how else is the world going to find the Lord unless we act like we're different, that our faith is different. John 30, uh, John 13, 34, love one another as I have I loved you, so you must love one another. Again, what we receive from the Lord, we just don't hold for ourselves. We have to be accountable, accountable for what we've done. And I don't mean just our sins. I mean, the good things too. We're going to have to be a good steward because as we saw in scripture, the master will come back and ask, what did we do with our blessings? What did he do with our opportunities? What did we do for others? Being a steward is being, is being a doer. Think of it that way. You're, you're doing something for the Lord. You're, and when you do it for other people, you're doing it for the Lord. Everybody does things differently. You know, ministers, we preach differently. Deacons, they, they serve differently. Everybody does something a little different. Everybody has talents. You know, we're told in 1 Corinthians 12, we all have variant talents. That means we can reach other people in a, u- a unique way. No one is, you know, well, no one's better than the other. No way of 
of no two people are going to do the same thing exactly the same way we're not copy, copy people what works for you may not work for me what works for me may not work for you but that's okay it's just different ways of doing the same thing you now if we're, if we're truly following the lord he'll put you where he wants you often it doesn't seem so but it is it's going to be a place where you can best reflect the light of the lord you reflect god's grace to others through love remember folks we do this out of love love for god love for others so we shine our light you know as the scripture says don't hide it under a, a basket being followers of christ and giving support and needs go hand in hand when we when we as followers of christ you know we see and hear about needs we should do whatever we can in our means to help that makes us good ste good stewards of god's children and you'll notice something i didn't say fellow christians or fellow or followers of christ because all people are god's children so yeah we're to help the non-believers we're to help the, the, the lost. We're supposed to help folks that are in pain and sorrow, whatever the, if the, the circumstances is. Scripture even tells us that we're supposed to pray for those who are against us. Because that's the responsibility that God has given us in this life. It's something that, that everyone who comes to God is tasked with. There's no limit about what we can do, what we can accomplish by ourselves and, and especially together when we open ourselves up to the Lord's directions. Jesus said in John 13, 14, if I then, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you ought to wash the, the other's feet. He called us to serve. He called us to humility. And we all want to be faithful servants. We all want to be faithful stewards. Because remember, we're stewards of God's word, of, his, of our money, of nature. We're God's stewards. So how, we, how do we go about starting, becoming that steward? How do we go about finding our niche, that faithful steward? First, you know, and I always have a list. So first, discover your strengths. How are we going to do that? We're going to, dis we're going to discover our strengths through prayer. We're going to find out how to serve others by discovering what the Lord has for us. Open up our hearts. Open up our minds. Prayerfully ask the Lord what you can do for his church, for his people, for humanity. St. Augustine of Hippo writes, Father, I am seeking, I am hesitant and uncertain, but will you, O God, watch over each step of mine and guide me? That really should be a prayer for all of us. 1 Corinthians 2, 10 through 11 reads, The Spirit searches all things, even the deep things of God. For who knows a person's thought except their own spirit within them? Pray to God. The Holy Spirit will guide you and strengthen you. And you might be very surprised where he bleeds you to. Open yourself up. Second, let's find a place. Now that you know what your talent is, whatever it is, start looking where a place you can use that talent. And I want to make a point here. It doesn't have to be in a church ministry. It could be a shelter, a senior center, a children's program, a homeless uh, program. It could be almost anything. You know, too often, you know, good followers of Christ, we get stuck in the idea that all our service has to go through the church. It doesn't. There's a big world out there, folks. And everybody out there is, 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 is needing your help. 
Matthew 5.16 reads, In the same way, your light must shine so that it can be seen by others. This will enable them to observe your good works and give praise to your Father in heaven. Let's always remember this. Why are we doing this? Why are we going to be a good steward? Because the Lord has called us. It's, it's out of love to the Lord. Not to blow ourselves up or make something more of ourselves. You know, some folks, you know, when they're looking, they say, well, you know, I, I don't do well in a crowd. That's okay. Sometimes one-on-one -on -one ministries is, is the simplest and easiest to start with. Sometimes I think it's it's the closest to what God would like, you know, because you be you be, you befriend one person. You know, it could be a senior care, it could be visiting the sick. Yeah, there's there's a number of, of things you can do. You're not sure about. You're really shy. You're really shy. You're not real good with folks. Okay, there's all kinds of one year one day volunteer things. You know, the, your church could be having. Uh, a rummage sale, a cleaning day. There's a bunch of special events, you know, that you could volunteer for. You could volunteer for a community uh, organization, you know, offer to join one of their days. I tell you what, you're going to find yourself being appreciated for what you do. And, and in that, you'll be showing the love of God. Okay, let's say you're a businessman. Let's say you travel for, for work. You're a truck driver. Think about the seasonal things. Easter, Thanksgiving, Christmas. We always have uh, churches and community places that have food baskets, making meals. So whether it's the church or community project, you can fit in. It, it'll fit into your schedule. You're going to show the love of God because people will feel that they're cared they're cared for and they're loved. That's the goal here. So whatever it is, whether it's, you know, your church, your faith community, you know, get out there, speak with a leader, speak with pastors, find out what you can do. Third thing on my list, don't be afraid to put yourself out there, folks. Being a good steward often means getting out of your comfort zone. Right? Not like you can't tell, but... I have a bit of a stuttering problem. To make these videos and get on the camera, it takes a little bit out of me. But hopefully, after a few years and countless, countless mistakes, hopefully I'm getting a little better. But it's still not easy. St. Ignatius of Loyola, he writes, If God sends you many sufferings, it is a sign that he has great plans for you and certainly wants to make you a saint. Being a good steward, on your way to being a good saint. Galatians 6.10 reads, So then, as we have opportunity, let us do good to everyone, and especially to those who are of the household of the faith. Folks, whether you're shy or you're outgoing, as followers of Christ, we're called upon to be the light of the world. The light of the world to those around us, whether that's in the, in the ministry or that's, that's at work or at school. There's no, endless, there's no end of the possibilities. You just interact with people in a constructive, loving manner. The fourth, fourth is kind of important, especially for those folks who are just getting started. You gotta have like an an unwavering resolve. God expects us to be the light and he's given us the Holy Spirit to empower us to do so. So get out there. And if you're like anybody else, you have a lot of false starts. You're going to have, you know, things that you don't get done and, and you half step. It's okay. Remember, this isn't about you. It's, it's just firmly going out there with, with a resolve that you're going to do what the Lord asks you to do. St. John Vinani, 
quotes, quote him here, and he says, the saints did not all begin well, but they ended well. Isaiah 41.10, fear not, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed. I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you and uphold you with my right hand of justice. Okay, like I said, folks, it's important here. Don't get distracted. Don't let what people say or, or comments, you know, or your failures or your mistakes, don't let them um, stop you. you. Stay focused on the mission. You're doing this because God would want you to. It's going to take some discipline, sacrifice, some courage. All in the with the goal of being a good steward for God, being more Christ-like, being more loving. Folks, as you go through this, this, this process, you're going to need a lot of support from the Lord. Stay in prayer. Stay in your scriptures. Don't give up. Well, those are my reflections. You know, I've been doing a lot on being a good steward. Get out there and practice our faith, folks. Show the world that there's something different about us. May the Lord bless and keep you. May the Lord hold you in the palm of his hand until we meet again.